Hey pilots, what a week I've had with audio in my videos. It has been a little bit crazy, but as you can hear, the problem is finally sorted out, fixed, finish, uh, done, and uh, we're ready to do this video over again for I think the fifth time now, maybe, something like that. Anyway, I wanted to uh, talk with you a few minutes about uh, community and what we're doing in it um, and uh, make a request for a couple of things you could do that might could positively support and assist the community in World of Warplanes. Uh, this came about as a result of a dis discussion um, from Omega, who I think is now Alpha Boomer, in the game. Uh, we talked over the summer about some of the frustrations for newer players and how to be helpful to players who are in the game, particularly those who are newer or who are learning and who are still getting uh, their feet under them, um, figuring out sectors, plane classes, how to fly, just all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we talked about a couple of different things. One that we think would be really cool is if we had some sort of training clan or big inner friendly clan. Unfortunately, neither one of us are in a position to be able to do that right now, uh, but that's a possibility. Uh, and so I've continued to think about a couple of ways that we might, um, might be helpful. And I've come up with three that I wanna request for you. The first one is actually pretty simple. You can do it from right here in the hangar. No additional experience or equipment or spending required. Uh, and that is to look down here, you get the double chat bubbles next to your clan chat. These are uh, different channels that you have. You can actually create your own channel. Uh, if you have a particular topic in mind uh, that you can share out with people, uh, you can favorite channels. Uh, these are your own recent uh, PMs you might've had go here. But then there's an official channel list with some of the secondary languages for the North American server beyond English, French, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, um, and then there's some off-topic discussion. You can also search for a flight or clan. Um, so you could always put something in there and say, hey, if you're a new pilot, you want to fly uh, with an experienced pilot, let me know. Send me a DM. I'd be happy to help out there. Battle results and discussion. Uh, bragging rights mostly, I guess, but, um, but you know, possibility as well. But this is the big one I wanted to show you. Questions and in-game problems. And this is a very powerful channel if it's used correctly. Uh, I'm gonna open it up now and you're gonna see, mostly it's been me in there. Um, I went in and uh, just checked and this is for the last month. Um, we've had nine different questions in here. I went through and answered them to the best of my ability, um, trying to help people out and um, hopefully they got them. Uh, you can also answer people directly. You can right click on their name, do a private chat um, and get that there. Uh, if you need uh, assistance from outside the game, if they're asking about something and you can throw up a website or something for them, that's pretty easy. Or you need to, uh, you can paste things into this using control V. You can also copy things out of it. So like Dr. Lively here was talking in Russian and I didn't know what that meant. So you can actually come in here, highlight it, control C, and then paste it into your browser and like translate it, Google, something like that. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you guys, you know, if you feel up to it, when you start your evening, come in here and just drop a little link, you know, say, hey, uh, if you have any questions or problems, you know, shoot me a message. Um, let me know what I can do for you. Uh, just kind of let people know that we're here and we're trying to be helpful. Um, you never know what kinds of questions people might have. Um, and it's really hard sometimes to make that first step and reach out. And so a friendly face in the chat in these rooms is certainly a helpful uh, beginning for that. Next thing I want to show you, next two things, actually two and three out of this, we need to go into a battle for. So I'm going to do that now. I'm working on finishing up the 109G which um, I have great fond memories of when I uh, ground the line the first time I decided that this plane would have the honor of being the first tech tree aircraft that I specialized outside of the tier 10s, obviously. Um, and I've got a match immediately. How about that? I've had a really hard time recording good matches lately. Either it's been thin on population or the match has just been walky or sideways. Um, and this one may not be any better. Oh, we'll see. Um, but we have a very interesting layout here. We've got the command center rocket base and airstrip, and we are on uh, the south side here, I believe. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm kind of curious. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Uh, so 2v2, got a P-80, specialized P-80, 109Z, and so K-6 specialized in my G. So this ought to be interesting. Um, depending on how the P-80 is built, I know I can't be faster than him, but I might be more maneuverable. Uh, okay, let's just go on that way, I think. So I'll hit the command center. Unless he's checking. Yeah, so he's going that way, good. I'll go this way. And we'll try and capture these two pretty important zones and then we can converge on the airfield and hopefully take it pretty quickly. 
I'm out in front by a country mile, which I hate on this zone. So we're going to loop around and let the other two planes take the flak. Um, the flak in this zone is extraordinarily heavy. At least it always feels that way to me. So, okay, that's the other heavy, which is a Hornet. Uh, we got a bomber. What do we want to do? Let's start high and work our way down. This guy came up and is moving pretty slow. And I've found that the uh, benefit of the uh, 109G here is it really is a knife fighter. You kind of uh, get in close with it and then use that 30 to just pound the enemy aircraft. Oh, or other enemy aircraft will pound you. One of the two. Now you can see all that AA fire coming in. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to see if we can uh, put some holes in this Hornet next. But you can see when that 30 hits, it does a good bit of damage. All right. We got the P-80 coming in. Um, we're going to just bring him in the vertical and see what he does uh, with uh, this vertical stuff. You know, again, we don't know how maneuverable he is. Seems like he pretty much is. We're going to do kind of half loops up and just see if we can stall him out and reverse him just like that. So his best hope now is to turn away from me, uh, to run. Okay, I got critted his uh, wing. And we got the zone while we were waiting. He's just dragging me down. It's the right thing to do, making me bleed my altitude um, and waiting for his bot to come in and hopefully do some damage to me. Fortunately, I can handle an enemy typhoon. There we go. All right. So we've got the rocket base. Uh, we do not have the airfield, which means he's going to respawn there. Looks like he may have just done that. Cut down on the aisle there. Let's see if the 72 comes for us. Oh, all right. The real goal, I think, is to get this zone. Uh, our rocket base is firing in the corner, unfortunately. So, not super helpful. If I can get a free 60 off of this bomber, that would be lovely. All right, feel my spidey sense tingling there. Um, he's got to come up. Oh, that's going to sting. My tail is shot, which means I got to do this. Now my wing is shot, which means I'm not going to be able to do anything. Yep. Unfortunately, with the tail gone like that, I can't do the same maneuver I did last time. It's a very rudder dependent um, maneuver. Uh, why, you know, six... 50 calibers are getting crits like that. It's unclear, but there you go. Uh, speaking of which, K6 over here. We could use some help in the center. So hopefully he can get over there and rock it because we're about to lose the command center. Um, we really just need one kill on that air base there to flip it over. And then I'll head back over to the command center. Anyway, what I wanted to encourage you to do, and I didn't get the chance to do it because things were so crazy at the beginning of the chat, is to just you know, do a little uh, hello to everybody. Uh, let them know there's a player there, right? Uh, a friendly player, a human player, not just um, bots in the match. Sometimes I think people forget um, that, there, <laughs> that there are other humans in the match, and so sometimes they quit, they pull out of a match early, um, and that can be frustrating for folks. Um, they can um, not realize that there's other players or alternatively, other way around, um, sometimes players uh, think that bots are, are players, right? And so they miss out on that. Ooh, free kill. There we go. All right, so now let's go get that. Oh, it's another free kill. All right, we're trying to get this thing specialized a little bit, so. Right. Uh, though every kill helps. 
Ooh, another one. Here's the uh, 109Z. And this is good. Let's see if we can take on this same tier heavy fighter. I see the P80. We're going to do the same thing we did last time, or the first time. He had plenty of energy that time again. Problem with dealing with tier eights, right? Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately for us, this is a lesson I've tried to teach time and again for folks. Uh, win the battle, lose the war. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Um, they're attacking the bomber flights rather than the sectors, right? So I probably should have let them be <laughs> because when your opponent is making a mistake, let them. Um, but uh, in this case, we got 30 seconds to squall line. And uh, he's down low there. So I think I can get him out. I'm worried about the bot up there. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh... Yep, he is unaware of my presence. We're going to wait till 500 or so to really start chewing up. And, oh, we're one, one short, one second short. Oh my goodness, this 109 is going to kill us, isn't he? We're going to keep going up. Trying to avoid the G's 30, same as we have, right? We want to avoid that hub gun, if at all possible. And we're just going to... Up and over. He's going to dive away. This is the best way to get rid of the light fighters who are pesky and bothering you uh, if you are in a heavy. And that is by diving. Um, generally, light fighters climb better than you do um, in a heavy, uh, but they don't dive better than you. Oops. Let's see if I can call for help. Oh, God. We're going to. Yep. I may have screwed that up. We'll see. Unfortunately, this is going to get rough. I don't know if I can... Okay, let's see if I can get him. Well, I've got the uh, rolls reversed here. Let's just loop out from under him. God. What a, uh, what a dogfighting class you guys are getting here. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose the war if I'm not careful. Um, and especially if that uh, P-80 decides to come back anytime soon. Uh, this is going to get ugly. Fortunately, for the time being, we have... Um, yep, there's somebody coming after me. I don't think that's the other... Nope. God, now I've got th a 3v1. Is that right? Ooh, we survived. Holy moly. All right, the third thing I would request you to do. We put up the uh, salute in the beginning. Let people know we were here. Uh, that we're happy to be flying with them. Here's what we do at the end of the match. Ready? Just leave. Don't, don't do anything else. Um, <laughs> this runs contrary to what mo most people want to do to be friendly, which is type a GG in chat. Um, my experience has been that that's not a good thing to do in chat. Uh, my experience has been that that can be really frustrating. Um, if it has been a match where you were trying to get stuff done and couldn't, or uh, you were very close to winning, it just, you know, tension is high, or you've been playing for a long time, or you're in one of these marathons, and you're tired, and maybe a little grumpy, GG doesn't make anyone feel good. N no one has ever felt better or good about a GG at the end of a match. It, doesn't, it hasn't improved anyone's experience ever, right? It's almost like a consolation, more so than anything else. And so I, th I think the best thing you can do is just leave. Um, if you had fun fighting someone, Right? Maybe afterwards you send them a message and say, great fight, good luck in the next battle, something like that. I would never say good game. Uh, good game is what we said when we were in Little League when we were like seven, eight years old. You know, we're adults now. Um, it hits differently when you say GG as an adult. It really does. Um, I, I would stick with just moving on to the next match um, because you've kept everything friendly. There's no chance of, of pissing somebody off at the beginning of a match, but with a salute or a hey. Um, there is the possibility of 
doing that at the end of the match, either because you're misunderstood or they're frustrated or both, right? So I would say, third thing I would request, just let it go. So first, check in with some of the official channels, say hello, let people know you're alive and well and helpful. Uh, two, say hello at the beginning of the match so others know there's a human pilot there uh, in case they need anything or just to know. And then third, when you finish a match, just move on to the next one. Uh, don't stick around very long. In fact, if you just move along, you'll never have to see anyone yelling at you at the end of chat if that is something they choose to do. So those are the three requests for making of a better community today. Uh, one other thing I would suggest, not a request, but a suggestion is the official Discord for World of Warplanes is a great place. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity to kind of chat with other pilots, to interface directly with wargaming people. Um, and to like, for example, I'll give you an example. Two weeks ago, we were asked about feedback on the current marathon, on uh, the Fuji marathon. You know, what missions did we like or not like? What did we think was positive or not positive about it? You know, that you're not going to get that in the game client. You can only get that in the Discord. You used to get it occasionally on the forums. The Discord is actually easier, I think, for Warhaming to manage. Um, and so there was some interaction on that. That's a great thing. We, we want that. Uh, the Discord is the place to get it. If you haven't used Discord before, don't worry. It's very easy. It's sort of an AOL instant messenger slash Slack slash chat room slash forums all rolled into one um, and, and pretty easy to use. So I would recommend jumping into there, although you certainly don't have to do that. You can still have a great experience in this game without doing that, but I think it's worthwhile. So uh, good job on Pelush. Uh, you know, good job Viper and Uku uh, in that fight. Everybody did well, um, but um, we got some uh, zones captured, some critical zones early on. Uh, we captured three as the humans. They captured two. Generally speaking, that turns out to a win for us. And I am that much closer to specializing this bad boy. Very, very close. 37 kills to go. Thank you for your patience this week uh, and taking forever for me to get a video out. And uh, hopefully we'll be back on track next week. And hope you are having a good time this weekend and in the marathon. Good luck to you if you're still on it. And if I can do anything for you, let me know. Or if there's any videos you'd like to see, particular aircraft or understanding of things, I'm happy to make videos on those. Just drop me a line and I will do what I can. So until I see you in the game and in the skies, good luck and good hunting.